taking his son out for a stroll in the park isn't something Hashon Mitu foresaw himself doing regularly just a few years ago. That's because Ratshahi, where Mitu has spent his whole life, used to suffer some of the worst air pollution in Bangladesh. There used to be tremendous dust storms before. You always had to be careful not to leave your doors and windows open when you left home. Dusty riverbanks combined with the thick black smoke emitted by the many brick kilns nearby to create a formidable smog. Two years ago, the level of harmful PM10 particles in the air was five times the limit recommended by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. In just two years, Ratshahi has cleaned up its act. Modernized brick kilns no longer pump out harmful smoke, and PM10 levels have dropped from 195 micrograms per cubic meter to 64, not far from the limit set by the protection agency. While renovating the brick kilns played its part, Ratshahi city engineers say most of the credit for cleaning up the air should be given to their zero soil project, an effort to make sure that all vacant land in the city is planted with trees. A trip to London convinced the chief engineer of the city that dirty empty areas and dusty paths needed to be replaced with plants and pavements so there would be less dust to be kicked up into the air. Other things that help reduce air pollution include our good drainage system, so there's no water logging, and we have a proper garbage collection setup, but Bangladesh is cleanest city. The result, Ratshahi has been listed by the UN as recording the largest percentage reduction in PM10 particles worldwide. And for Me Too, the city's green campaign has also served up a bonus, a nice park where he can take little Shabir for a walk. Mahar Sattar, Al Jazeera, Ratshahi, Bangladesh.